right, so we are live. It looks like we are live. All right, so if you want to share this on Facebook, it's on you. You jag off Facebook page. You can share it from there if you want. All right, yeah, your voice just like you yell it, yeah, jag off, yeah, jag off. Not jag off, David Hyper. Right, not jag off. All right, so Facebook Live, just confirm you can hear us. We're recording this week's Yeah Jag Off podcast, and this is Ports Tour number one, sponsored by Jandy Waterproofing, and we're raising uh, products, not money, products for Zachary's mission. The voice you hear is John uh-huh. Chamberlain. <laughs> and I turn my hat around so the water it's doesn't the roll down my so neck. So Zachary's mission is near and dear to us. Patricia Vince has been a wonderful part of our lives for so long. And she has a phenomenal story. She celebrated 10 years of Zachary's mission last year. And she actually collects items for people who have long stays in hospitals, families who are there unexpectedly and their their kids may be sick. And instead of getting like the regular bar of soap or just a random deodorant, she collects things so that you have them for an extended stay, like Dove soap and Pantene conditioner and things like that. Walmart gift cards, because again, she doesn't know how long, you wouldn't know how long you're gonna be in. And she services so many of our different institutions from AHN and UPMC, and she's just a gem. So this was our hope that we could have a friendly competition and have multiple porches, donate items, and give back to Zachary's mission. Right. And uh, actually, um, Colin, can we grab those two little parking chairs behind Sophie there? Actually, thanks. All right. So this is this is behind the scenes of the podcast. We normally record on Saturdays, but not today. And the podcast will be out on Tuesday, okay. right? Monday right. on Intercom or at odyssey.com app. And Tuesday on yajagoff.com. Yep. This is how we start the podcast. This is how we do it. You want to start with the music? It. You want to do some music first? I'm ready. Do well, it. he already made fun of me. So we're excited that we can introduce Brandon Payne of the painful music. Have at it. We're ready to listen. Cool. Thank you. Listen, you even got applause from the porch dwellers. They didn't even hear me. Yet. They didn't even know. It could be a nightmare. <laughs> they didn't know. Right. Aha, there he is. We see him. All the seconds turn the years Where has the time gone? Sad memories we shared Where did the time go? Without a match, a turn of stone What are you gonna show? Dying dust, Asian rust What could you still show? There come better days Want you to see yourself happier In a way There come better days Don't want to see you looking back And say them better days Walking around the dives in town Dreaming of the city Each step the sun goes down the street of lamp Not in your pity Though you may be happy with Elements of your story It's up to you to change it up I'll give you time You don't have to hurry, no There come better days I want you to see yourself happier In a way There come better days don't want to see Looking back and say them better days, them better days. This is all just temporary. Loving what you got, highs and lows like currents flow deeply in your thought, but you know. You know, come better days. 
want you to see yourself happier in a way come better days don't want to see you looking back and say them better days better days them better days All right, let's hear it. Brandon Payne, take a bow for Facebook Live. Brandon there. All right. Uh, Brandon will be back for an interview if you know the podcast. We always we talk to the musicians. We always talk to the, the musicians. Way. That's right. right. So, All right, you keep talking you know the so gig. I can get the static out of the line. All right, get the static out of the line. So that was easy. Just had to lift it and watch the umbrella. So we're excited to be here for the first porch tour at Aaron's house. We have a great lineup of guests. Uh, I, do you want me to go right into the ad? All right. So, Rorik Honda is aware of the vehicle shortage, but there's never a shortage on helping a customer. If you know what make, brand, or model car that suits you, chat with the rep now and get exactly what you want by pre-ordering. Don't want to wait? There are plenty of certified used vehicles waiting to be claimed. As always, visit Rorik.com for all of your vehicle needs. And now we start this week's Ya Jagoff podcast, the first of our four stops, the Jandy Waterproofing Porch Tour 2021. 2021 with and rain. Yes, right. It's raining. All right. So this is where you hear the music. And now we say, this is the Yajagov Podcast. We appreciate you listening. If you're listening for the first time, we ask that you give us a, a subscribe, give us a listen, give us a comment on iTunes or wherever else you listen. This is usually where we talk about what was on the blog for the week, but we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to give a thank you to all of the folks who made the Porch Tour happen. The party is not about us. It's about what we bring. And so we are so fortunate because for four years now, Ernie Ritchie's Sausage has sent sausage and Mancini's buns as part of the party, um, as well as Mary Mac Bakehouse with her baked goods, pierogi festival tickets from Kennywood, Kennywood tickets, Heinz History Center passes, North Country Brewing, Jagoff Beer, and a musician because we bring the party. So that's what they get for being wonderful porch hosts and hostesses. The coolest part is we had record numbers coming in for this time. We had about a dozen people who said, I want to be on this porch tour. Literally, it was out for three days. And we thought, well, we could take our time and plan them. No, we got a ton of people. We were super excited. So we may extend how many porches there Great. are just describe, so we can help. Describe this porch. Now there are Zachary's mission. Here. I wasn't done. <laughs> Look at those people. Look at it. I know. Everybody, hey, this is, this you're porch, on Facebook, hey. This porch is probably the most people I've ever seen, right? And it only rained one other time. Remember, it was the zombie house? Oh, yeah, right. And we were stuck we in a garage. In I wouldn't go in the basement. Right. You did. So anyways, right. So who do we have on the podcast this week? This is so exciting. So John actually got the esteemed privilege of interviewing Sophie Guest about three years ago, I believe, at some cat event in Lawrenceville. Is that right? <laughs> and I remember because I that was, right. I really wanted to come. I was not co-hosting at the time and I really wanted to come and I didn't make it, but you talked about this wonderful actress who I had to know about. And now I can't wait to go home so that I can watch the Amazon Prime show that everybody is talking. I don't know where I was living that this was out since April. So right. I cannot wait to to learn more about but it, more, Sophie Guest. More importantly, Sophie Guest gets to talk to me, over 40 beer league hockey player who plays with her dad. Who? Yeah, that not, was our hookup. Who will not pick me for his team, oh. by the way. <laughs> pretty scary, pretty right. scary. Right. Sophie, come on up and grab a microphone. Uh, grab the green one, yes, or the pink tip there. Cool. Awesome. Yep, All right. you're Hello. good, you're good. So here's what I think hey, is the Patty. coolest part. If anyone didn't know you, you literally love to play the guitar, enjoy music, and play soccer. Yeah, <laughs> pretty so much. So that's like your lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. So you are this down-home girl. Tell us a little bit about how this happened, that now you're this movie star that's bouncing back and forth from Pittsburgh, PA to Los Angeles. <laughs> well, thank you for calling me a movie star. You <laughs> are. You are. I cannot wait to go. I'm not kidding you. This, I'm so excited to binge this. This is one of those things, though, like when we first talked to Steve, you know, he's like, well, my daughter's in some like, you know, movies and things, you know, and, and so You're many like, parents oh. say like my kid yeah. is like an extra yeah. in Lorenzo's oil 29 years ago. And yeah, like that. same. Then, yeah. then you talk to Steve, you're like, oh, like she's like for real. Yeah. Yeah. And so you really do. You've been living, you lived in Hollywood with your sister, your mom, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I started when I was like around six years old. My oldest sister used to be a model um, here in Pittsburgh and her agent knew she had a younger sister. Um, so they called me in and they had me audition for Jack Reacher of all things. And yeah. I ended up getting the part, which is like such a magical thing because just like out of the woo, like kind of fell into my lap. Wow. I loved doing it and I continue to do it. And I'm so glad that I did because no, here. here you are. Yeah. Right. So at six, did you really know what you were getting into? Like, do, do you go that far back and say, oh, I knew then that this is what I, that life I wanted to live? No, I no. just, yeah. Just you wanted to play soccer. soccer. Yeah, I wanted to play <laughs> soccer. I wanted to like be a kid, you know, yeah. watch other TV shows, SpongeBob probably. Yeah, but right. Then this fell into my lap and I love doing it. And I love just becoming another person, like act, playing dress up, like, being like different i don't know i love doing that and i still love doing that so Th but, this isn't even on the script but i have to ask you i'm sorry do you no mind? you're fine so many actors and actresses will say when i played and they refer to the character <laughs> is that a testament to truly knowing the character when they can say i loved like you're saying right now because yeah. you can differentiate who that person was and who you are oh yeah there's no sure. crossover yeah i mean you can definitely find similarities between you and the characters you play but i don't i think if you're playing like this someone exactly who's who is you that's not like fun to do like to be able right. to differ differentiate is like really fun yeah like, i don't do this but my character does right you can find the similarities so yeah and then you can blame the character like okay. your mother's like did you do the dishes i did not but my character is doing them right. later i was playing amy the bad girl yeah. from the last movie but so Sophie, when you're six though, how do you recognize that you can act? I mean, obviously yeah. every six year old knows how to jerk their mom and dad around by crying, like, ah, they yelled at me, I'm gonna cry. But you know, that's that's a form of acting. It's not even what, close to what you do, but how did you recognize that you could act and what were the skills that you had to take on as at six years old? Um, I honestly didn't really know what I was doing. Okay. Um, it was it was funny. Honest, when I, though. Like when I first went on set there. I walked into the trailer where they were doing my hair and a girl comes in, looks exactly like me about my height and they start cutting her hair and I'm like sitting looking at my mom. I'm like, is someone replacing me? Like, is, are they, is my part like being taken away? But it's my stunt double. Like, I didn't know what I was doing. Like, they're like, no, Sophie, <laughs> she's so coming cute. to help you, like to stand in for you. And I'm like, what? Really? Like I'm famous? What? That's so funny. That is, that is really cool. So that's such a good story. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. yeah. No, I thought Mama, most girls would be questions? like, oh my are gosh, okay. I don't want my hair cut too. Yeah, but that, like, that's where my head went. <laughs> uh, so God, uh, yeah. you can ask so mom. introduce us to your mom first, right? Mom, come on in. This mom. Is my mom. <laughs> Amy. This is manage your mom, Amy. So <laughs> yes. Amy, let, let me ask you this because I've asked this of, of other musicians as well. Like at some point, a lot of parents think their kids are good musicians are going to be a rapper they're going to be a guitarist they're going to be an actor hip-hop artist whatever it is right and so they get sucked in by these model agencies come take a few pictures we'll make sure your kids in a commercial blah 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 and everybody thinks their kids how do you as a mom now knowing where sophie is now she's she's represented officially yes. but how did you as a mom kind of sort those things out how, what would you tell a parent to do well um as Sophie was explaining, it kind of found her. Like they came right. and asked her to audition. <laughs> but how did you know they were for real? You know, I mean, you because know, her sister, it was, yeah, uh, my oldest daughter, right? Uh, she was doing yeah. some modeling, and so they yeah. asked her to come audition. And when the agent called back and said they loved her, and can you come down and meet the director and talk about the part? I was like, okay, yeah, what? Yeah, right. yeah. Right. So that I was got a little you. crazy. Okay. Yeah, but okay. I'm sure the initial, like to his point, you're still kind of like. This is surreal. Even yes. if it's not, you, you kind of the mom and you investigates, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and you and wanted to meet Tom Cruise. I did. I, I was, yeah, that was one of the best parts. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it, it is a difficult thing. I mean, it's a difficult thing to get into and to keep, keep it going. To keep it going. Um, but she, they kept calling her to audition and she kept booking the roles. So okay. that made me think. Maybe it's she's legit. maybe yeah. she's good at she's this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, kudos That's to awesome. Pittsburgh in general because, as we say all the time, we've come such a long way in so many different areas. But who would have thought the film industry? You know, look at this so year true. alone. You know, yes. so many different movies that were filmed here. You know, and so we can talk a little bit about this. So Amazon, the way it's stated, Amazon's critically acclaimed horror anthology, Them. It is set in one of the best eras of all time, 1950s. Yes. What was that like? What was it like going back in time for you? It was so fun. I felt like I was in Greece or something. I, I knew she was going to say that. The amount of times I did like the 
Danny, like, yeah, that's cool, baby. <laughs> like, around set, like, was my there's so many videos on her phone of me just like doing it over and over again because I was in the skirts, like the poodle skirts, like, it was so fun and it really like took me back and it helped me to like learn more about that era, even though, like, you know, you but, learn like, it, right? Yeah. Right? So, it was a lot of fun and doing my hair every day. It kind of like put me in there too, like, oh my gosh, people actually had to like do their hair yeah. like this every single day like that's yeah. a lot of work it's a lot of oh my god <laughs> <laughs> no i get it and so what about that did you love the series the way the series essentially loved you what uh, was it like yeah it was a lot of fun to be on set and to work with all these amazing people who are so like endlessly talented sure. um that was a lot of fun and to be able to again learn so much about um what happened not only just like in that era but like racially and that like I yes. learned so much about that and like the segregation in the time you know about it but you don't know to what extent and the show really dives into and that. you were filming right during the time that there was such social unrest here so I'm sure it sort of mirrored what was yeah around, what had around that time yeah um, more like whenever it came out like yeah. that was a little bit before that before but yeah it was really like kind of surreal to watch it happen in the past and then be watching it like in front of my eyes it's, yeah it's crazy when you first read the script or they first sort of inform you and, and maybe enlighten me on how that works it, was it different once you were in it or how does what does that process look like um so funny story actually when i when i first auditioned for the show i walked in and i prepared my character in a, a, in a particular way um and then when i when i went into the the uh, audition room. They told me the casting director, Julie Lowry, she threw me a, a curveball because I didn't get the script. I only got like my sides at first before okay. I even got the role. And I'm not going to spoil it for you because you haven't seen it yet. But Thank it you. Totally <laughs> changed my way, like perspective of the character and how I had to play her. And it worked out. But it was really uh, crazy to watch, like, after I learned that, like, to see how that changed the way I was playing my character and portraying her. Um, so that was a, a big deal for me. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So if you are, uh, if you're used in uh, five, three years ago, even, uh, you know, what would you tell yourself at that point? Or what would you wish you would have learned or something like that? I know that's like a standard question, but again, there are a lot of Pittsburgh is becoming a movie hub again. Right. And uh, so there are people here that could do similar things. What, what are the sort of the top three things you would recommend to do, not do, um, I think if I would, if I were to give myself a piece of advice, yes. I would definitely say be more confident in your ability and don't give up because you face like rejection every single day. Yeah. Like if you're auditioning constantly and it could just be something like you're too tall or like you're too short or yeah. like you don't have the look we're going for, which is kind of like, I mean, that doesn't seem like a lot, but it kind of is like, I'm too tall. Like I need to be shorter i need to be taller or whatever but you just kind of have to face it because there's got that role isn't meant for you then there's another role that's going to come along that's going to be the perfect thing for you um but if if you're just getting into it i would definitely say be confident because you have something that no one else has and you have this like edge to you that you have to like uh figure out like use that to your advantage um and that's something i would definitely tell to myself and to other people that are getting started in the industry and so since it sort of fell in your lap ultimately which is amazing it became the thing you wanted. At what point did you realize that was it? Was it the first time, the the, the first movie you did, or was it the lull between the next time, or, or is there some kind of aha moment you had that you were like, this is what I wanna do? Um, I think it was whenever I was here in Pittsburgh filming a movie called The Great One. It's not mm -hmm. out yet, it's in post-production, mm -hmm. but filming that movie, I was with a bunch of kids my age, and it was very surreal to me to be in my city and I realized this is something that I love to do because I was with people I love. I was being able to do something that I love to do. Like, it was just so crazy for me. And then especially like flying back and forth to California, that's crazy too. Like just yeah. being there in that environment. And I'm like, wait, this is like, this isn't a dream. I'm like, I don't know, like at the time, I think I was like 12 years old, maybe 10, 12, I don't know. And I'm like, this is crazy. I'm this old. There are kids at home, like going to baseball games or whatever. And I'm flying back and forth between California and Pittsburgh. Like, this is just surreal to me. And sure. I realized, like, I want to be older and be going to Italy next time, not just Pittsburgh <laughs> and California. Like, yeah, right. This is something I want to do. That's awesome. If yeah. you took us out to Hollywood or anywhere in California, where would, where would be the first two places you'd take us? Oh, the first two places? Yeah. I don't know. Oh my gosh, that's a hard question. I mean, of course, if you've never been there before, definitely like the hikes, the hikes are amazing yeah. out there, okay. something like that. But if you want really, really good pizza, there's this pizza place called Moza and it's, 
Oh, so good. They make it right in front of you and it's delicious. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so what's um, next? You have all these opportunities with movies. Are you thinking this is, you stay the course? Do you go to school? Do you just kind of say, I'm going to wait and see where the, the whole movie industry takes me? What, what happens? How do you kind of come up with that balance? Um, I would love to go to a film school and learn how to screenwrite and direct and produce oh, because cool. I'd love to do all of that um, along with acting because I think that's a really amazing skill to have and to be able to just be in the industry, not just doing acting, but everything that's really a, a goal of mine um but just this is definitely my what i want to You're do calling. for my career yeah, are you acting happy to be on this podcast no, right now or is this for real <laughs> yeah it's, it's all an act yeah, right. you can tell she is so down to earth kudos oh, to her mom and dad version. wow yeah yeah uh, that's exactly right don't you say that kudos to the mom and dad for having the, yeah. the ability to kind true. of you know keep it mm -hmm. into control and you know I guess merge the talent with the luck because right. You have to have the talent to take advantage of luck when it comes calling. Right. So that's yeah. awesome. So, all right. No, this is awesome. So, so we have like a couple more, instead of um, rapid fire questions, we're calling them porch tortures. Okay. So what annoys you the most about summer? Because look, we're at this porch tour. It's raining. You could easily give that as an answer, but what about summer is most annoying? Um, not being able to drive. I don't have my license yet. Uh, and not being able to drive during summer sucks. So that would have been your answer regardless, right? Yeah. Winter, yeah. spring, summer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I guess I got <laughs> No, you're summer, fine. But... Do you spend more money during the summer? Um, I think so. Probably yeah. like, yeah, I guess. It's easy I would to say do. So. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Do you want to take one? Uh, go ahead. You do it. Who do you usually spend the most time with when you're summering? Is it your mom? Is it your dad? Is it your family? Is it a best friend? Um, my mom. Aww. Or my best friend Caroline. We okay. like have hung out like every single day. I'm probably gonna hang out with her after this. Actually. Okay. So. okay. So. All right. So who do you? Okay, I'll take the next one. You okay. may have already answered this because okay. Italy came up. But what would be your dream summer vacation? Uh, I would want to stay in Italy for as long as I could. So maybe Same. not a summer vacation for Italy, but probably like Greece or like Hawaii. Okay. Uh, uh, That's Hawaii, a good one yeah. I say Greece. Yeah. Sophie, you're amazing. We do have a question of the day before we let you go. Um, but where does everybody follow you, find you? Where where can they see some of the stuff that you've done? Throw your stuff out, sister. You um, should be proud. You can find me on Sophie Guest Official on Instagram and on Facebook. Sophie Guest. Um, thank you so much for having me on the podcast. Oh my, oh my gosh. Talk to no, you guys. How about you? We wouldn't even, well, we will say we called you 24 hours ago or less to be on to do this, right? Because we knew we were in the neighborhood. And I'm yeah. like, ah, I can't find your dad's phone number. So, <laughs> no. Uh, so that's where they follow you. Yes. What other movies can they see or series um, or? Uh, besides them, which is the show that just came out on Amazon Prime, you can also find me um, on a movie coming out this fall called Dear Zoe, filmed in Pittsburgh. I saw All that. Right. I think. Yeah, yeah, how I, about that? I play Caitlin, the dumb blonde. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> you can find me there sometime this fall. <laughs> okay. Right. I love it. I love it. Question of the day. Porch item that you cannot live without. If you're sitting on your porch, what can you not live without? Your chair, your drink, your music, or something else? Uh a comfy chair and music. Good one. Both. So two. <laughs> All right. Usually I don't she let two answers, like but I love don't. her. Yeah, yeah she, she gets violent. <laughs> I do. I usually say no, it's not multiple yeah. choice. That was amazing. Thank you so much Thank for your so time. Because. Thank yeah. you so much. And don't be a stranger because we're actually doing a series with the film office with Don okay. Kieser and those guys yeah. where we want to have a lot of the behind the scenes people on. So we'd love to have you back. Great. Awesome. Awesome. We'll be back. Thank All right. You. And so we, uh, this is on the edited version of the podcast. This is where you'll hear our song. Right uh, by Brandon Payne, but we also have to make sure we say thank you because the porch tour here is sponsored by Jandy Waterproofing, and Harry is down there. We also have to thank. It's not about us coming to the podcast; it's about the prizes that we bring. Yeah, Kennywood. Yeah, Heinz History Center. Yep, they get a six pack, which we can't show yet. Uh, you jag off beer. They drank it. Yeah, <laughs> you jag from off North beer from Brewing. North Country Brewing. They get Mancini's bread. They get Ernie Ritchie sausage. Did I miss anything? I think you did. Mary, oh, Mary Mac Bakehouse. Mary Mac Bakehouse Darn. and Pierogi Fest tickets. Yes. Right. Well, it's part of, sort of part of Kennywood, but right. yeah, so it's All two right, different so, things. Anyways, All right. So, who are we welcoming Sophie, next? Thank you so much. Thank we you for having it. me. That's here for Sophie Guest, everybody. Come on. <laughs> there you go. The Gretchen, rain come on. has not stopped yet. Yeah, the, the rain so, sucks. Yeah. All right. Now, Hi, photographer. How are at, you? I have to get your name because we're interviewing you. You not, can be on. <laughs> not every guest shows up with their own photographer. Sophie Guest is an actress, and she didn't show up with her own photographer. It was her mom. 
But this particular <laughs> guest shows up with an official. Oh, photographer. that's how she rolls. So yeah. Gretchen, you can pick up the, the pink microphone there, please. Do you want to share and I'll give mine? Hi, John. Uh, or is there another one? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, nah, that one was buzzing. Here, we'll try it. Good. Keep talking. We had a buzz for a minute. So a we buzz. were sort of, and not a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when we get yeah we get bad buzzes. Is this working? Yeah, you're perf. Okay, let's. I don't hear anything. Do you hear anything? Um, so we're super excited, Facebook World, because test, test. we had the opportunity to interview Gretchen McKay from the Post Gazette in during COVID time. Yeah. So we did a Zoom. We did do a Zoom. It yeah. was like one of my first Zooms. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you did a great job, though. I was pretty excited and that we were part of that. Because we didn't see just your nostrils or your forehead. forehead. Well, we, you did well. My kids had to walk me through that. So. <laughs> well, we Believe loved me. it because I don't know how we didn't have you on prior. And now I, I love. did you? I don't know. I, don't know. I have Seriously. no clue. <laughs> I've always been a fan and I've always read your stuff. So it's crazy. I kept asking and John said no. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, <laughs> <laughs> no, here's the cool part is this is so Pittsburgh. You know, you are Sophie's this neighbor. This is so oh, Pittsburgh. Right? Yeah. I actually have watched Sophie grow up yeah. next door. Um, looking out my window, I look into her backyard and see her all the time. My son taught her a little bit of guitar. So when she gets famous, we're going to How about that? <laughs> co claim to that. And Six uh, degrees <laughs> of Sophie Guest. I know. It's just <laughs> And she's 15, crazy. right? Oh, my god! And I will tell you that she is just the nicest, sweetest, just the best girl. Come on. You yeah. don't even have one oh child no, in your house she story? Really is. Um, my daughters have tons of pictures that they're going to sell when she gets famous. <laughs> <laughs> One of her, oh. apparently she was in a suitcase or something. So, Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's so funny. I yeah. love it. So, Gretchen, you know, we've talked to you about, your, you know, the food writing right. that you do. And then you put recipes up on, on right. your Instagram page. You're, you're proud of your grandkids, right? I, <laughs> so, just one. I have just another one. one coming. Okay. Okay. So, well, 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 yeah. So, you know, what's life like? I, I don't know that anybody knows what life is like. We always get this. You guys have the best job. You get to go to these podcasts and drink beer and eat food. You know, what's life like? Do you get up at nine o'clock in the morning and trudge into an office and write about potato salad? You know, I'm not trying to water no, down. No, but and I what is your routine? I, I wish it was nine o'clock. It's I'm on my <laughs> computer probably at seven thirty in the morning, and okay. I will be on it again tonight. But uh, I'm not going to lie; it's awesome. Yeah, I have Good a really yeah. awesome job. I have the best job at the paper. Um, I'm always out doing fun things, meeting interesting people. Um, over the course of my career, I have learned to cook. <laughs> I love that about uh, you. Because yeah. I, I have a column coming out next week. Um, it's my, I was just named the food editor. So it's my, I didn't yeah. know that. Oh, breaking news. Oh, breaking what? news. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, so, da, da, da. so in my intro column, I point out that I didn't know anything when I started this job you know i've been writing about for food almost 20 years and okay. and i was in my 30s and i did hamburger helper and i love that craft mac that. and cheese and that's how that. i rolled <laughs> and so i've i've learned to cook on this job and it's just it's fun because you're not going to write about somebody unless they're interesting yeah so right. yeah. and and so routine wise is there a routine because you know we've talked to songwriters we've talked to comedians that they have a routine where they get up and they write so many jokes yeah, so many, but um, is it is there anything like that? I'm, for you? I mean, I'm always on deadline and Mondays and Tuesdays. Our page okay. gets laid out on on Mondays. I'm proofing pages. Um, I'm writing. I'm reporting usually Thursdays and Fridays. I'm cooking okay. Thursdays and Fridays. But I don't know. It just depends. Like when I get home tonight, I have to write about the Eaton Park Smiley. Listen, cookie milk with Turner's, oh, right? Yeah. So we just yeah. did the daily dose of happiness <laughs> on Star. It? No, but we just promoted it on Star. I yeah, yeah, I'm anxious to see. I get to taste it tonight and see how I like it. You should have brought it here. That's a I, bummer. You know, I Gosh. should have. Yeah. You could have done it on we air. Scratch that would have been great. We might have to tailgate that. So I I mean I the just rain is you know, I right report, now. I write, I photograph. Um, you know, it's do you do you love the social media component to writing, or are you more of a traditionalist that wish you didn't really have? To no, I, I do like the social yeah. media component. Um, I was out there from the beginning doing it um, because, at least in food, people want to see. They right. want to see. They want to eat with their eyes. And I've become a okay pho photographer over the years. And I think you know. So we put it out there. I want as many people to read it and share it. And yeah, so. 
All right. From a journalist, can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah. Gosh, I was, just, I, I was, was very going, fair on I Sophie, and I, I realized that no, I was monopolizing the conversation, I so I stopped talking. No, I was like, shut up. I can't even slightly say it. <laughs> um, from a journalistic standpoint, and I, I think I told you this on our last interview, I, I love the art of journalism, and I love people. I think I said this to you before. Al I worked with Alice Carter before she passed right. away from the trip, and to watch someone like her who became a journalist, sort of like what you're saying, but she became a journalist at 40 and yeah. became this acclaimed writer, right? What was it like for you to go into something like food that you admit, I didn't love this. I'm just kind of trying it out. Because if you had your choice, would it have been a different topic? Would it have been features or movies or? Um, you know, when I started at the Post-Gazette, I, I was a freelancer and I did what a lot of people starting out do I covered school board meetings and council meetings and, and there's nothing wrong with that North Hills no <laughs> a lot of contentious stuff I was like on the forefront of the all-day kindergarten battle oh, for so crying I still out have loud. nightmares from that yeah um, but you know and but you just have to do what you do to break in and I knew I always wanted to do features um, and I just you know did a food story and did another one and did another one and just it ended up being my beat, so I love it. I am paying attention. I'm just <laughs> trying to make sure everything stays. I had dry. to hurry up and breathe. <laughs> Let me ask one more question before he comes back in. Um, with us, obviously focused on a porch tour, and you were so right. you know graciously interested in being a part of this. Um, what is it about summer that brings out the different? You know, every season, everybody's like, "Oh, it's chilly season when it's right. getting cold." That right. kind of thing. Summer is switching. I feel like it used to just be fruit salad, and now there's Fruit is like a garnish, right? That's yeah. it's. There's so many things. I, people are really into home entertaining. I think grilling has become so huge. Um, outdoor pizza ovens are huge. I can't tell you how many people got those during the pandemic. But I think people, you want to be outside. Um, you want to have your kids outside. It's just if you're working in office all day, you just don't want to be inside when you get home. Um, and it's just conducive to kicking back and when it gets dark the kids run around and catch lightning bugs and i don't know summer is just i don't know the time i think it's the time i, I think you know I, I think i'm chasing static you on turned our recording. my microphone off no, i just want to i think that. i'm chasing static i think it's actually the rain that i'm hearing oh. <laughs> i started like, to it's, answer it's, i was like he it's turned driving my microphone me nuts off. Uh, where is your photographer we have to pull yeah. him away because we want come talk to us oh here we go give him this microphone here what is your name? And we obviously figured out who you were because you have the uh, you have the camera and you're you're getting all, all the right. action Hold shots. I'm hearing welcome to the Ajaga podcast. Thank you for having me. Hold on me. one second. You're so I'm welcome. Are you hearing that static? I out don't there? hear. Now I do. Right. Yeah, it's unfortunately, right? Uh, Hold on, we have a static alert, and it's not weather. Do you want me to give him mine? Just to yeah, it? just. Uh, I'm here. gonna give you my mic. Okay. Let's see. Well, let's here. We'll just because no, that's not you. Hey, by the way. I was in a movie once too. Let's hear that. Come on, do it. Let's, I'm not Sophie. You're like quality, the host is struggling but, right now. So yeah, please help. When they filmed Moth, <laughs> when they filmed Mothman with Richard Gere like a hundred years ago, they did it in the Post Gazette newsroom, and I am in the opening, like three seconds, where I walk across, <laughs> and you just see a blur of red, and I've watched it a hundred times, <laughs> and we were told that we were not allowed to look at Ritz Mr. Gear. We could not even make eye contact. I think you should arm wrestle Sophie. So can we hear that? There we go. Yeah. There we go. And do it. There's more to the story. Okay. We I had a dun, dun, dun. we actually had a movie filmed at our house once. And it was a terrible direct to video. What movie? Val Kimmer. It was called God, I can't even remember it. It was really bad. It was that bad, but you see our house. I can't remember. Oh my God! So is your was your house like changed around? Did they paint it? Yes, they... it was only twenty four hours, and it was terrible. And I <laughs> broke my toe that morning. And Amy, oh they God. they do a lot of commercials at their house, but once was enough. For oh me. my God! That's wild. That's wild. <laughs> yeah. Yep. All right, photographer, welcome. Thank you. What is your name? Ben Braun. Ben, how you look so young? Is this like your first photography gig or what? Okay, so it's an internship. What's it like working at the PG? Amazing? Yeah, it's different every day. Different every day. How many assignments have you been on so far? Uh, this is my third of the day. Oh, of the day. Okay. What's an average day like? How many places? Three to four. 
Okay. And what have you loved so far? Um, just it's just like every day. You never know what you're gonna find. You never know. Did you uh, want to be a photographer? Or did you kind of land here? I wanted to be a photographer. Okay. Well, it's funny because well, right, photojournalist. How funny that that sort of changed too the way the titles are because Sophie's job sort of fell in her lap. Gretchen didn't know she was gonna be in food, and you're sort of the opposite. And you're saying like, no, this is what I wanted to do. So, what is if you had your you know amazing this is what i would want to go cover what would it be pittsburgh based like pittsburgh is based. is it like a penguins rally is it or are you a newsy kind of guy or do you like the feature side i like both i think breaking news is really fun i think the best photo i've had this summer was a car accident but just the lighting was really nice i was driving home from lunch or driving back in the office from lunch um, i just ran into it Rach, those are sometimes the best Sorry. <laughs> no, um, you're fine. So yeah. you said the, that your favorite yeah, one so far has been driving home from work uh, and yeah. just seeing I, something random. Yeah, I saw a car accident that like happened. I was just at the right place at the right time. Um, but the most fun things have been like um, graduations covering those. They're really just high spirit, real spirited and really happy. Yeah. yeah. And I think people just coming back to life from everything that they've not been able to do is just yeah. a testament. I mean, this porch tour has, I shouldn't say, but they have about 40 people, um, all of whom are vaccinated. So it's kind of a cool situation because everybody can gather and the sunshine's coming out when we talked about right. it. This is great. My back is completely soaked at this point, but who cares? Let's, should we do the rapid fire? We're going to do rapid for fires them? for you we and make Gretchen. Them both yeah. Answer. So you answer. ask, I'm going to give her my mic. All right. Where are we at? I get, my pages were covering the unit to make sure it wasn't getting wet. I hope right. they're the same questions. Yeah. You know what? Why don't we do that, right? We, we just have you both answer the same question. We'll go French ladies first, okay? What is your favorite thing about summer, Gretchen? Lightning bugs. Lightning bugs. Warm weather. Warm weather. <laughs> All right. What? How long do you stay outdoors in the summer? Oh, hours. As long as possible. You don't do the Pittsburgh's when the street lights come on. You don't go in. Oh, when, no, okay. I watch TV on my desk. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Coffee. Mint chocolate chip. Oh, right. That's that's someone after your heart. Wait, coffee. coffee. That's an interesting. One. I only eat coffee ice cream. <laughs> what is uh? What is your favorite summer uh, piece of clothing? Piece of summer clothing. Uh. Uh, bathing suit. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Do you want to call a friend? There's not a buzz in the microphone. It's just Gretchen deciding. <laughs> like my favorite is a hair tie because it gets so humid and so you throw your hair up. I would just say a straw hat because well, I want to keep one. the sun off my face. <laughs> favorite piece of summer clothing? Running shorts. Oh, okay. oh I got those too. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah. All right, last one and then we'll let you go. Beach or swimming pool? Oh, beach. Beach. Yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> not not the pool at the beach. That no. is not the beach. No. Right. No. Yeah. Ocean all the way. You guys, thank you so much for coming. And we appreciate that ultimately you're supporting Zachary's mission. And we thank you so much because there's so many nonprofits in Western Pennsylvania alone. There's thousands of nonprofits and we can't help everybody. So you figure out ways that you can make a difference in every little thing. So thanks for covering this. And we appreciate you guys. And we hope you're having fun because there's tons of food and drink and all this good stuff here. So please make sure. In fact, they actually went up beyond the Richie sausage and they got Monticello's and Doughboy's to kind of come in and they're yeah it's yeah it's a pizza war and we didn't even know it was happening apparently so when will they be when will they be able to see if people are watching on facebook live when will they be able to see the story your guys work um way to put them her on the spot i'm no i'm trying to do math uh 22nd the 22nd boom 722 we can't wait all right question of the day porch item that you cannot live without is it a chair is it a drink is it music or is it something else um it would be a can of uh hazy ipa oh <gasps> that's my husband's favorite that's so funny a grill a grill that's a good one i forgot to put that too you guys thank you so much please Thanks enjoy the rest of the party and take us. lots of good pics we're sure you will catch something like super random Get a belly smacker in the pool, right? All right, do Brandon. Yep. Brandon, come on up. And then you get to play another song. This is the this is how we lure our musicians. We're like, we're gonna ask you a couple questions because we just want to hear you sing some more. Brandon, pick a mic, any mic, but I don't think which one's not working. Hello, check one, two. 
That was serious business. Do you need this back? Uh, sure. I'll t do I take this one? So, Brandon Payne, we've been listening to a piece of your song in between all of our guests today. Cool. And tell us a little bit about that song. That's the first standard. This is the easy questions. They get much harder after oh, this. Oh, okay. Um, so, on Monday of this week, I woke up and I said, I need to write a song. So, I locked myself away in a bedroom for two hours. No one has heard that song other than myself and my dog. Get out Are of you town. kidding me? So, that was the first time. Wow. So. And did I hear you say it was exclusively for the Ajaga podcast? Yes. Okay. On that's the Ajagoff LP. <laughs> so that's it. That's it. So they, all right. So let me just drill down then. So that's the first time you've played the song. We've all heard it. It's very basic with, uh, with your acoustic guitar. What is the next, what are the next two instruments you would like to add to that song to, to develop it? Oh, that's uh, a good question. Well, I do play the drums as well. So, okay. So absolute, drums is in absolute drums. And if I had the ability to play piano, Okay. That's the one thing that I can't, that I really want to learn how to do. Okay. I'd, I'd love to add piano to it. I so. love that. I had piano shoved on me and I hated it. So don't do <laughs> you it. You had a piano shoved on you. Literally, I fell under it. <laughs> so you are from Mansfield, PA? Originally, yeah. Okay. Where is that? It's North Central in the Pennsylvania wilds. Okay. Um, there's nothing. We're three hours from Buffalo, three hours from Philadelphia, three hours oh. from Pittsburgh. Oh. So it's kind of like very north. We went to New York State to go shopping. Oh, so it's way up okay. there. Okay. And I couldn't place it. Like I was trying oh. to figure out like North of Penn State, oh. North of State College, about Look, an hour and a half. My son's going there. I'll oh. be a Penn State mom <laughs> in about a month. Now yeah. ask her if she's on the school board. Guys, I, well, the it's Tuesday. funny. I'm on the North Hill school board. So when Gretchen said that, I was laughing because I was like, you do oh. like covering school board stuff. <laughs> so what brings you here then? So it's even a better question. Typically, we'll say to someone who's not from Pittsburgh, because we love to hear Pittsburgh stories, mm -hmm. we'll say, what is it about Pittsburgh? But for you, you could have gone in any of those directions. I mean, yep. Philadelphia being that close yep. to you, that's a happen in town. Why Pittsburgh? Um, I, I went to school to be a teacher. Okay. Um, I got a teaching job near Indiana, Pennsylvania. So I was there for about seven or eight years. And then um, my wife lives in Washington. Um, we live in Washington. And then, I was going to um, say, so we lived you, a couple years apart. She lives there. We lived a couple okay. of years apart, yeah. and then um, I was able to get a, a teaching job more locally. So oh, okay. that's fantastic. So, yeah. Do you teach music? No. Okay. No. So this is your release. From the parents or the students? Um, I think it's it's just a release nice. from everything. Okay. It's, it's from from having to think about things. It just that's my summer. Every summer is just focus on music. Don't think about anything. Just have fun. Okay, and enjoy it. Ching. About five years ago, I, I flew to Las Vegas. Um, my band played out there. Um, it was a really cool experience, but it was my first flight. I was, the singer and I, it was our first flight. We went together, and it was a, it was a bad decision um, <laughs> to have two first-timers go together. Over this here. Like, right. yeah, this it sounds like she question. has more to the yeah. story. Yeah. yeah, so it was it was the first time flying. It was, And then we we ended up going probably five more times in the next two years to Las Vegas. And we're not big gamblers, but like we like the no bedtime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. So, yeah. That's awesome. So you've never done a porch tour, but no. what type of tour have you been on? Have you done like several cities or that's literally the first time you did then COVID yeah. hit, right? That seems to yeah. be the way And that was the goes. beginning of my kind of getting my, my foot on the ground, being in Washington, being sure. in Pittsburgh area. Mm -hmm. And then like, I had a whole bunch of shows lined up, um, COVID hit and I made a decision to, Hey, I might as well, why stop playing? Right. So <clears throat> I did live streams twice a week on, on YouTube. Okay. Ah. And I had like an originals night and I would have like a request, total request live uh, kind of thing on Fridays. <laughs> So, TRL, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so that was that was cool, and it, it, it kind of got me a little bit more of a following. And then everything opened up this summer, thankfully. So I'm still looking for more uh, more shows in the Pittsburgh area because I play a lot in Washington. Okay. But, okay. Um, yeah. Are you are, are you play all of your original music? Or you like to play covers, and if you play covers, what's your favorite covers sort of series to play? Um, or go to I, cover song. Oh, go to um, James James question. Taylor. Um, <laughs> Fire okay. and Rain. Okay. I do a lot of classic rock I can stuff. Hear a, lot that. Of easy, yeah. a lot of easy listening. Okay. Um, I do my originals too, but I'll, I'll, I'll play Old Town Road. Um, oh, I'll get out. Um, Bruno Mars. Just, just a wide variety because I, I want to play something that everybody likes. Yeah, not right. Be, not be go down one rabbit hole and just okay. have that be what you're defined as. So. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, maybe that helps you write in the future, right? You know, I mean, being such a wide, a diverse set of cover tunes maybe you hear something you say, oh, I don't I think it's reflective in my originals too because they're so diverse too. Yeah. Like there's no... 
there's there's kind of a common thread, but there are some ones in there that are kind of like, oh boy, this is like a hard rock song, and then you've got another one that sounds like it's kind of country, right? Yeah. So it's kind of a gamut of. of I think that's the beauty too with COVID. I think people were start if, at one point you'd ask a musician, "What's your genre?" You know, mm -hmm. and they could answer, "It's this, it's this, it's this." There's so much blending now because mm -hmm. I think there was time to actually stop and concentrate and really see that there's so many different sounds that you can really oh, you know yeah. take from and that even goes to whatever venue you're playing you kind of sure. like you want to kind of mold it you don't want to show up to a, to a jazz club and play heavy metal music you kind of well, want yeah. to you could <laughs> right yeah you could <laughs> you have some wide eyes yeah, <laughs> i wouldn't mind the photographer being there yeah right, that right, would right. be a little crazy uh, all right you want to wrap it him yeah yeah do it okay so this is our my papers are so i know and i'm trying to find everything mm -hmm. all right let's go with i had another set and i don't like I don't want them all to be the same. Okay, what do you like most about the beach? Because these are all summer questions. Um, I enjoy the beach. I'm not a big fan of uh, heat. Yeah, same. <laughs> but I, I do enjoy a, a nice night, possibly a dinner somewhere on the beach, a drink. Okay. Um, I, I enjoy beach evenings. He just talked himself into that. Did you see? Here, I have a question. It's not even on your list. Come on. Show your toes or not show your toes. Oh my God. Oh, at the beach? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I'd show my cares. toes. Yeah. I'd show my toes. Oh, yeah. Guys should never wear shoes to thing. show their toes. Never. It's his thing, yeah. Never. John, what, John can we, we skip can't. To Don't even send me a friend, friend, Facebook friend request. I will not answer it if you show your toes. <laughs> wear in the summer what would they, they wear show them the today. you know Nothing? those 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 other sandals that are cover your toes tennis shoes what is your favorite summer <laughs> song i can't summer breeze oh that, that's a good oh. one all right watermelon or honeydew melon um watermelon you didn't have honeydew melon ever i don't think so. there's a lot of things i haven't had oh i kind of like pizza a lot no okay that was a good question. are you a typical pittsburgher do you put salt on your watermelon um, I, I probably would like it more with salt. Um, <laughs> I, I do like the salt. Okay. okay. And porch light or bug light? Are you like, I want to have my porch light on or I'm going to zap these bitches? I would like to zap them. <laughs> okay. <Yes. laughs> I think, if that's not the next album that, Listen, or song that he writes no, tomorrow morning. This is my new thing. I'm going to see on every podcast if people notice how many times I drop bitches because I do it at least <laughs> once a podcast. Listen, you are fantastic. We actually have to ask you about a possible gig that we might need you for. So don't go anywhere. We get to hear you play a song again. But for the quest, before we ask the question of the day, where does everybody follow you? Um, on Facebook, on uh, if you search that painful music, all one word, P-A-Y-N-E-F-U-L. It's my last name. Um, on YouTube, Facebook, um, and then that painful music.weebly.com has a list of okay. all of my shows coming up for awesome. the next couple Don't fret about it. We'll put the links in the show notes when the podcast yeah, comes up on remember. Tuesday. Don't worry about it. No worries. Yeah. All right. Porch item that you cannot live without. Is it a chair? Is it your favorite drink? Is it music or it's something else? A good chair that maybe rocks in reclines. Oh, okay. okay. So you I can fall that. asleep for a yeah. couple hours and wake yeah. up burnt. Yeah, right. Yeah, you're fair skin like me. I hear you. I love how particular people are, like right. a comfy chair. Yeah. So that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. We yeah. want to put you back in your position. We're getting rid of this and we're going to bring the porch owner up, right? Right. Yeah. So you get set to do one more song if you don't mind. Perfect. And we'll bring Aaron. Where is Aaron? Paging Aaron. Paging Aaron. And Harry is here. Where is Harry? Come on up here, Harry. So, in case, uh, so while we're delaying on Facebook Live, Jandy Waterproofing sponsors this, and we are collecting items for Zachary's Mission. If you don't have a chance to collect items for Zachary's Mission, you can always go to Zachary'sMission.org and uh, donate right online there. It's pretty easy. Uh, there, there are a cool nonprofit based in Greensburg and do wonderful work for people who lived here. It's like Pittsburghers put a hug around all other Pittsburghers, people just visiting, having children in long term care. All right, that so really done well. where's Aaron? Come on up. Whoop, I just splashed. It's like I'm not wet enough. So if you're listening to the podcast, know that we are soaked. Colin I'm Parrish is walking soaked, around soaked. I saw like water dripping down his face earlier and, he, and it wasn't sweat. All right, and this is Aaron. Aaron, is this mic okay? Uh, yeah, I think we're all good at this point. We, uh, Listen, just, we waited till the sun came out for you to come on. Wasn't that lovely? I am sweaty. You have to Let's bring see. up some of your friends. Here, just right, give her, just, just uh, talk in there just real quick. Make sure that's on. Yeah, yep. This is my my uh, boyfriend on Thursday. Todd, oh, right? Todd. Just on Thursdays. Just on Thursdays. <laughs> okay, he doesn't so think over here on Thursdays. All right, good. All right, so Aaron and Todd, 
Uh, and here's the thing is, is that we put the porch tour out there. You are like the fastest one to show a video about how oh cool God, this porch video. is. And we're going to have to show this while you're talking. I'll try to pick up the camera and show it like what's behind us because this rain sucks that we couldn't, we have all these tents, but tell us what made you enter the Jagoff porch tour this year. So my friend Lori follows your podcast and she tagged me when you put the first post out about the porch tour ah. and said, you should enter this. I know Lori. Yes, She's right Lori. There. <laughs> and the next day I had a girl's night, which I think was also a Thursday. Okay. And that's Todd's night though. Uh, right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Todd and Todd's like, I later. was aced. <laughs> 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 and so as i was sitting here and there were just people all around i was like oh i should totally video this so i videoed it and sent it and that it was that easy. listen you're and it, it looks even better i mean it's beautiful in the light of day Rain. but when it well but even in the dark i love how you have the light situation it's just i wanted to like come over and i'm not that far i live in north hills so i could have just <laughs> hey, ran over yeah anytime. thank you oh, see see, see, see that works. works that's how it works Oh. I have to give the credit of the lights to Mike Metz, though. He's like our handyman. Well, he helps us with everything. And I actually know Mike Metz. Our Woo! boys played hockey together. Yeah. So shout out so to Mike So here's the Metz. thing. I don't yeah. know if you Mike know Metz! this. Mike Metz is Free getting shout out. Mike Metz on the lights. And All I right. said I knew you. I was like, I know him. <laughs> so I don't know if you know this, but drum rolls, because not only do we show up with these people and a musician on your porch, but you get Mancini's bread. You get Ernie Ritchie's sausage. Well, I don't know if you've had it yet, but not it's yet. here. And you even brought your own food. You get Mary Mac Bakehouse pancake and muffin mixes. She'll mail those to you. You get Kennywood Park tickets. You get Heinz History Center tickets. And you get Pierogi Festival tickets. Ooh, yeah. thank you. Oh, we bring the party. Up, right? And I think it's so cool that we were saying you have Monticello's and Doughboys as well. So you were like, I see your Ernie Richie's and I'm bringing more. So the Doughboys show up every time we ask them for anything, for any sport. They donate whatever we need. As soon Love as I guys. asked him, he's like, how many? And then Monticello's are friends of ours that also sponsor every sport. And I worked there in the summer and he was like, whatever you need. So Aww. they and both have, for anything always do. And Isn't you know, awesome? when we do the pizza question of the day on our Facebook oh, yeah. page, it's like violent because everybody's yeah, is yeah. like, so just having two different pizza places in one under one roof yeah, is I'm really afraid. significant. Yeah. It's like Doughboys was second place this year, weren't they? The Pittsburgh <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, it was. Huh? Yeah, I think that's true. Uh, so tell us about what it, I know this is new, right? This is literally COVID new. COVID the porch. New. Yeah. So yep. where we are is what was your porch? Yes. And so how long did it take to do all of the other amazing things? So we had a patio down there and then we started this in, I think we got our first quote in September and then we are like 99% finished. What so, else is there to do? Oh, there's like a little bit of Stuff thinking. we don't see. Yeah. <laughs> and you have <laughs> stuff that you don't see. But Okay, gotcha, talk. gotcha. You no, have great finished talk. furniture. You have a great pool out here. And uh, these the rocks, the, the landscaping of the large boulders. rocks, yeah. the bolt. Yeah, they're boulders. So she's like, they're boulders. They're not rocks, like, jackass. Boulders. <laughs> Guess what? Way cheaper than a retaining wall. <laughs> you jack off. You said they're not rocks, you jack off. I love it. So let's do this because we want to meet some of your friends. So yes. if you were stuck on a deserted island, who would you have the most fun with? <laughs> Jenny Cuban. Come on up. Where is Jenny? On, Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. She said no, Jenny. she won't. Oh, she maybe won't. I okay. wouldn't choose her, though. Oh, wow. You're right. Courtney, Courtney, Courtney. Dan, Courtney. You were here. Where's Courtney? Courtney. Oh, Jen. I went to grade school with Did Jen you? Cuban. I was like, is that the same one? How are you? That's so funny. I know <laughs> half that group. So funny. Oh, my God. See? All right. All you right. Were, there we go. I don't mean to tell you this, but you were runner up because Jen Cuban yeah, would not Jen get up. So oh, you would be Anyway, said, who would you choose? I said, well, obviously not her because she turned it down. Yeah. Not Jen. Damn Jen. Well, I'm, I'm really flattered to be runner-up. Yeah. You. There you go. There you go. Listen, so you know your... what the runner-up is. If the if the winner can't carry out the duties yes. of the of uh, you know that are necessary, the runner-up gets that. That's yeah, right. There no you doubt. go. There you go. Jen's making her way up because oh, I would guilt yes. her. And how are you? I love you. You are amazing. Really you. I didn't even know. Hey, you you know. That name is not that common. <laughs> that is so funny. Well, I knew her as Jen Shore, but she's Jen That's Cuban right. now. So how funny. Right Welcome. Hi. She picked you to be, if she was stranded on a deserted island, you would be the most fun. 
Oh my God, she's so right. Until yeah. you said no, <laughs> then I said Courtney. And then you elbowed the other friend out and she's no longer in. <laughs> So Definitely. what is the best part about this porch? I mean, it's not been up that long, but what is it about coming here this that you love cool? most? Well, I came here from the beginning, way back when, but Erin is the reason I come. Erin's the reason. Absolutely. If you spend a minute with her, you want to come back. That is so cute. Is Look how nice. And you didn't even pay her because she wasn't coming know, up. So there right? wasn't really any reason. And what did you so guys, funny. did you bring stuff for Zachary's mission? What did you guys bring? I brought gum because okay. I thought, oh, what would I yeah, want? Right. I would want three. Right? That's such I think a good that idea. I think it is on there. Yeah. Is it on the list? I think yeah. so. Oh, good. And, and then yeah. I text her. I said, do you think gum is a weird thing to No. To and if it is, Patricia can chew it on her way, dropping off all the Zach packs. She drives from Greensburg to Oakland all the time, and so God knows that traffic away. sucks. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So now you have Jen here. Mm -hmm. So, John, what kind of question to bring up another friend? Uh, all right. Let's see here. What friend would know the biggest secret of yours? It can't be Jen, and it can't we be We won't ask him to tell it, but what friend away. will know the biggest secret of yours? Probably Bob like Harvey. A tough one. Probably Bob Harvey. I've known him the longest. I don't Bob think Harvey. he'll come up. Bob there, Harvey. But... Bob Har no, he look. He's fake eating. Look, right? He's a fa he's the fake eater. <laughs> Obviously, he's... none of my friends are as fun as I am. <laughs> he's like, Bob Harvey. Who would know one of my secrets from Tell a long us, time I ago? Marla. I mean, Marla's not Kate. here though. No one here. <laughs> I don't know. He's yelling things. All right. All right. He said sangria. Oh. <laughs> ah. So that's we, what we, we need to Ocean get City you. We lived in together for like oh, four okay. years. So. Oh, okay. So tell us one fun fact about yourself so that we can learn a little bit more about you. Other than you're going to start following the Ajaga podcast. Absolutely. I already what did. <laughs> um, what's one fun <laughs> fact? You have a lot of fun facts. If I... Say it. No. Don't no. say it. Don't say right. it. Facebook Live. Are you a teacher? I am a teacher. <laughs> I had a feeling. Uh, I mean, context clues. I, I let's like, give a shout out to Pittsburgh Allegheny, K to five in the there north side. Woo -woo. Can I get a woo -woo. Woo -woo. Uh, Molly O'Malley is my yes. best friend. <laughs> Molly and I started teaching in 19. 1999 at Oliver High School. Together. I remember when she was first there. Year. Let me tell you a story about. Absolutely. So Molly was at Oliver, and I was a journalism major. Her, Did so you her go first, to Oliver? No, I went to Mount Alvernia. I wasn't allowed. Oh, okay. Yeah, but Molly to came to Mount Alvernia too. So oh, yeah. Molly goes up and she writes the word grammar because she was that was English was what she was teaching at the time. So she called me. I said, "How was your first day?" And she goes, "Girl, did I spell grammar wrong?" I said, "Did you put an A or an E?" And she was like. <laughs> like she knew right away grammar was spelled wrong so i was like that is not your niche so move along i don't know but, that's she good was advice, an but now look at her yes yeah, she's so, amazing and i so we sing her started praises. our first year there i was at oliver for two years and now she's been my principal for i guess amazing. eight or nine yeah forever that's awesome sorry molly oh, well. i didn't invite you she's the best no yeah, we I, didn't invite molly. 60. Uh, I don't know i just started there was an she error. started clicking. Yeah, yeah, Mo, yeah, I would yeah. have invited you. Molly. And I'll call you later. And I thought everybody's here. I wanted to see you. <laughs> Actually, I think she's at the beach. I, well, she's back now, but oh. yeah. So there you go. We know you're home, but we won't give your address, Mo. <laughs> All right. So before we ask you the question of the day, how do you feel about the whole Zachary's mission thing? Are you excited to do this? Is the challenge on? The challenge is on. We We're will set. not. We will not show pictures of what no. you collected. No. You we still are have time to collect. the bar. Right. High. Is it a competition? Boom. Yes. yes. So oh, we yeah. go to perfect segue. We go to three more houses, which actually might be more, so that we can get more stuff, and it increases the competition. I'm be at are you invited you to the next one? No, but I'm going to be. I'm invited to Amy. She's the fourth. I think she's the fourth. Yeah, you're good. Here. It's like yeah. this penny war. She's going to be oh, over there stealing the stuff out of yeah. the bucket. So pressure <laughs> from the post is that, is that like, why she's watching? So I was close. like, I could tell. Um, I could tell. Just well, a little. I told Gretchen that I changed the rules for you because you were like. So I only have until the day of. And I was like, that's a really good point. We're going to change those rules. So we love it. And we appreciate so it. So outside in my driveway, there's going to be a big bin and neighbors can donate oh, all right. to what? August 14th. Yes. Yeah. I think exactly. I said the mission. 7th. I neighbors, heck, I Aaron. It. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I, love I love it. All right. Here's your question right. of the day. Are you ready? What, what porch item can you not live without? Is it your chair, your drink, your music, or something else? You should exclude drink because that that's so I given. Think, yeah. Yeah. Rachel doesn't music. like when people break music. the rules. Yes, music. <laughs> on. It's all right. Music. Because, you know, if you have a good drink in your hand, the music just Everything flows. sounds great. Go. Yeah, right. awesome. Aaron, thank that's you awesome. so much. Am thank I moving you guys to the musician? for coming. Right. And all right. so we'll get the musician ready. In the meantime, we want to say thank you to all of our guests. Thank you 
Thank you to J&D Waterproofing for sponsoring the, the Four Ports Tours. Harry was here, but we don't see him. Thank you to Tracy and Colin yeah, and Larry for helping us put this together. Thank you to Gretchen and uh, uh, ben. ben for coming here. And then, again, it's going to be in the Post-Gazette. Thank you to Sophie Guest and Sophie's dad for answering her email. The food. Thank you to the You're food. Uh, yeah, we have Mary Mack. We have Ernie Richie. We have Mancini's. Keep going. Dough Boys, Monticello's. This right. was the party of ball parties. It was. Yeah. yeah. Kennywood tickets, Pierogi Fest tickets, all those things. You can still enter into the porch store if you want. In the meantime, thanks to Rorick.com, <laughs> right? Rorick Honda is aware of the vehicle shortage, but there's never a shortage on helping a customer. If you know what to make or what make, what brand or what style car suits you, chat it up with a rep and get exactly what you want by pre-ordering. Don't know what you want? That's okay. There are plenty of certified used vehicles waiting to be claimed. As always, visit Rorick.com for all of your vehicle needs. Boom. Now it's up to Brandon Payne to take us home. It's a little song about a prohibition. Out in the garden, picking them grades. Can we till the day that I get a taste? But all I was in the kitchen, it's the big keys. The glass and the fish are increasing the feet. Sees us in the setup, she lined another boss. Boog was on the corner, but he's watching for the cops. They say, don't be still too old. Make a wine and moonshine, bottles of brew. They say, don't get no reward. Make a wine and moonshine, bottles of brew. Out in the field, getting barley and wheat. Water from the spring, and we're almost complete. Mama's in the kitchen, fixing the yeast. Papa's in the bed, and 50 bottles of these. Sister's in the cellar, she's squeezing up the hot fruit. Was on the pool, belly rocking for the cops. They say, don't. Tractor, he loves to drive. Fetching them props of whiskey and rye. Mama's in the kitchen fixing the yeast. Mama's in the bedroom prepping the feet. Sisters in the cellar, it ain't never gonna stop. Brothers on the porch, but he's fighting on the car. This ain't on. Woo, everybody!